So can the Earth's magnetic field really affect the way that we think? Well, there's a group of researchers out of Korea that were able to show just that fact. So I think we should talk about it. So they were able to manipulate the Earth's geomagnetic field in order to change people's decision-making capacity. Wild stuff. Now, what is a geomagnetic field? You just think about it simply as a native frequency that's emitted from the Earth that comes from the rotation of the Earth's core. Um, it's always here. You could think about it kind of like gravity. It's just a baseline electrical field that exists on planet Earth. So the question has always been, how do we respond to it? We know that birds use it to be able to migrate. They have sensors that allow them to know where they are on the planet based on the Earth's magnetic fields. So how does that influence us? Well, it turns out we also have these certain types of cells. They're called cryptochromes. And the ones that we know about tend to live in the retina of the eye, and they can detect electromagnetic fields from the Earth, geomagnetic fields. So how did the group in Korea use them? Well, they went to a, a simple decision-making game called Go. And what they found were a couple really interesting variables. So they measured people just playing normal. And then they used a frequency called Lorimer frequency to interrupt people's fields so they couldn't detect that native geomagnetic field anymore. And what they found was they got worse at the game. And to throw a little extra caveat on that, they also found that you got worse based on duration of fasting. So the more fasting you had, the more sensitive you were to changes in the GMF. For the men, it was about 20 hours. For the women, about seven hours. So those two bits of information combined help us to be able to say, how could we use this information in our daily lives to be able to improve our health and improve our own decision-making for a lifetime? So what are the ways we can use? Number one, they were able to show that by interfering with the GMF, they were able to impair decision-making. So what can we do? We want to make sure that the things that we have in our everyday lives aren't impairing that geomagnetic frequency. So a couple quick ways that we can think about that at home are don't be surrounded by things that impair the GMF. Number one would be simple things like the Wi-Fi in your home being next to electrical outlets or surge protectors, things like that for too long that emit these low frequency kind of microwave activities. And when I say microwave, I mean the microwave in your house too. So all of these things emit small waveforms that can interact with the GMF. So what can we do? We try to be around them less. Now, maybe these are things that you use in your everyday life. You're thinking like, I don't want to get rid of my Wi-Fi. I don't want to get rid of my microwave. I got surge protectors in my house. Am I really going to live without them? How am I going to notice the difference? Well, maybe the reality is, is it's hard to know at first. But if we think about those things extrapolated over time, and maybe you think about, maybe I just unplug my Wi-Fi at night or I move the surge protectors so they're not right by my bed or my phone's not plugged in right by my head at night. Or maybe I don't stand directly in front of the microwave when I use it. These are simple, easy things that you can do at home that may actually impact that decision-making capacity and improve your ability to be able to connect with that background information that we seem to use as a way to stabilize our brain function. So let me know what you think, try it out, and we'll talk more about it later. Take care.